Hey everybody, my name is Jeremiah Craig. And I'm Levi James. And we're coming at you from Circle B Western Wear. We got a new old stock, so that means this is an old boot that uh, they new. have here that <laughs> is still new, see? And uh, that's what Circle B Western Wear is pretty much known for. Uh, Levi picked this one out because he hasn't tried a heel before. I haven't. No. I love it. I love the texture of it, right? Yeah. Like it's, I'm new to it. It's pretty sweet. It's nice. So let's get into it. I'm just here to connect ya And then I'll be on my way All right, Levi, so what drew you to this eel when you were walking over there and looking at which boots you wanted to do a video on today? Well, you know, I love the texture of this, which I mentioned already. I, I love how it just kind of swirls around this way. Um, I'm, I'm assuming it's an eel, so it's small, so they have to piece it together, right? Yes, that's exactly um, why they're stitched together yeah, like that. Yeah, but I like I like how it, you know, it just it's, it looks like a wave kind of going across the toe. Mm -hmm. um, honestly, that's what drew me to it. I know it's really shallow, but I loved it. And that's what dra draws a lot of people to this look because it's super shiny. It's mm -hmm. a dress boot. Eel is really fragile, so it's not anything that you want to work in, but uh, it definitely has a very natural shine the way that they finish it, and it looks great. Um, we're here in Brockport, New York at Circle B Western Wear, which is an awesome store. They have a website too, so a lot of this new old stock you can find on their website, which is circlebwesternwear.com. And uh, before we get into all of that though, let's jump straight into all the details of this boot. We call it the Rundown. All right, Levi, so this has eel skin on the foot and the counter and it has just a beautiful glossy look to it and of course they have those strips of eel that they have to stitch together mm -hmm. in order to make it big enough to put around a last and build a boot out of which is why you have those lines. Now is that stitching fragile? You won't want to uh, wear this boot out in the field or anything like that. This is strictly for Saturday nights dancing uh, weddings, things like that. Taking your lady somewhere nice. Exactly. So it's not like gonna split there mm -hmm. as long as you take care of it and aren't like working really hard on this boot. This is a dress boot through and through. That's what eel skin is. It also features a beautiful J toe. A lot of these new old stock boots here have J toe. So if you guys are looking for J toe, definitely check out Circle B Western Wear. It stands at about 12 inches tall and features a nice stitch pattern in the top here. Also, it has a one and a half inch stacked leather heel. It actually has wood pegs and brass nails down here with a leather outsole, and it does have a Goodyear welt as well, so you can get this resold when you run a hole through this outsole. On the inside, it's leather lined all the way through. Not the softest leather in the world. And uh, it has a hard leather insole though, so that's nice. This is a made in Mexico Cowtown. Usually Cowtowns are made in, in America, but this is a made in Mexico one. It's coming in at $219.95 here at Circle B Western Wear, which is a good price for a dress boot like this. And you can find it at the Circle B Western Wear website. You got anything to add before you try this boot on, Levi? No, let's, let's do it. All right. All right, guys, here's the eel. Uh, Jeremiah Craig, they didn't have a size for him, so I'm doing this one solo. Um, I'm loving the look of this. What is this, cognac? Yep. I'm um, loving the look. Um, that toe the, shape. The toe shape, yeah, the toe shape is great, right? What is that, the J toe? Mm -hmm. J toe. Love it. Love it. Um, like we mentioned, the hard leather insole feels good. Um, the heel, not quite as, as good as the. Um, what was it with the black cherry that we tried on? Nakona. The Nakonas. Um, but still still nice. Uh, good arch support. Um, yeah. Loving the look of these. All right. Giving you guys the POV. Looking nice and shiny. Definitely a dress boot again. Um, not, I don't quite want to go home and get dressed up just like I do with the black cherry, but these are looking beautiful. All right, Levi, what'd you feel about the eel boots from Cowtown? I couldn't try these because they didn't have my side, they didn't, which is kind of a shame, but uh, it, it looked good on you. It did, it, it felt good. It was my first time in eel, right? So I love the look, I love the texture. Um, you know, I think in terms of fit, it was nice, uh, but for me personally, the, the, uh, the, 
uh, Nakonas that we tried on earlier. The Black Cherry was a better fit, um, but still, again, love the hard leather insole. Um, definitely a dress boot, right? Um, it, uh, it, it has a great a great shine to it. I feel like it would um, more of like a, a business casual dress mm -hmm. for me, right? Uh, just because it's that it's that lighter um, that lighter look, uh, but not quite uh, not quite like a dress to the nines like the, that black cherry, right? But still, this would be a great like um, go to work kind of everyday dress boot with right? khakis with khakis, right? Right. Great um, khaki look. Yeah, yeah. So I, I liked this boot a lot. Um, Definitely not a top top for me, but it was a great boot, especially I think for the price point as well. And that J toe, I love the J toe, mm -hmm. right? The J toe is so nice. What about this little bit of uh, staining here? So there is a little bit of stain on the right boot, and that is from the glue that they used to use when building eels. So in the 90s and the 80s, they used to use this glue to help um, keep all the leathers together because it's not just eel, there's also lining on the inside, okay. which is cowhide or pigskin. Um, and uh, they glue that too, sometimes, uh, to the leather. And that glue has been known to stain eel, gotcha. specifically eel. Okay. Uh, They've since fixed that. They can use glues now that uh, don't stain eel skins, but it used to be a problem, especially as the boot ages. Since this is a new old stock, when this was new, you probably didn't see this stain, mm -hmm. but as it sat there, that's something that they learned throughout time and the years that they needed to change the glue because it ended up staining the skin. Um, that's not a really bad spot, no, considering that the, it, there are some other eel skins that really get some dark spots on there. If you guys are interested in getting this boot, you can find the link in the description. Go to circlebwesternwear.com and you can find a bunch of other stuff too that is discontinued but still new here in store because they had so much of it when it came out. And one of the treasure troves in the physical retail space that carries these new old stock boots that you can't find anywhere anymore. So it's really fun to visit. Their online store but also in store too and sort of search through the treasures that they have definitely worth a while thank you so much for watching today levi thank you for joining me thank you for having me if you guys enjoyed this definitely hit that subscribe button and we will see you around peace peace like how they look and like how they feel it's the driss cowtown boot made with beautiful eels you can get a good deal on it too at circle b western wear don't forget about that why don't you check out this other video I did with Levi there? A pair of black cherry Nikonas. Or I got a music video down here I think you might enjoy. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you next time. Peace. Have a good one.